Hello everyone, how are we doing? If you're doing good. So I just wanted to give you a little update that I'd seen the other day and I've been meaning to tell you about it. It comes from the New York Post and they had talked about um, what the Aunt Ashley had put in her post that I read to you a couple of days ago, but there was a little bit added to it. So uh, I'm gonna link this in the description, but I'm not gonna read the entire thing to you. I'll read just a portion of it. So it goes to say, the group soon decided to call the police who questioned Bacchus' friend, Hannah. Uh, that is when we found out that the girls had done acid, Ashley said, which is Aunt Ashley, right? Hannah told us that they had taken two hits each of acid. Ashley said she questioned the admission because the pair hadn't seemed inebriated that evening. I'm 34 years old, she said. I could tell if somebody's high out of their gourd. She wasn't high out of her gourd, right? So then, but back his friend said they'd also decided to smoke from a bong after Ashley had gone to bed. That's when it triggered the episode. We don't even know if what she actually took was acid, she added. There's so much crap out on the streets these days. I don't know how she died. I don't know if she died of an overdose. I don't know. She took her clothes off right before she passed away. I don't know if she had hypothermia. We were screaming all over this mountain all night long, she said. And so the part that was new for me was that she had taken her clothes off right before she had passed away. Um, that wasn't revealed in her writing that she had put before. That makes me so sad for Trinity. I can't imagine what she experienced those hours, right? Or however long it was. I'm I'm so sad for her. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Um, also, I want to bring you over. I didn't get to read to you what her mother had put. And um, it was, it says it's three days ago now that it had been put up. And I never read it to you. So if you haven't heard it, I'm going to read it to you right now. So her mom had put, and also this is her mom saying this, not me, right? Because I do know there's some mm, stuff in there. Uh, this is not for me. So this this comes from somebody else, somebody else's opinion. I'm not, not me. Um, but her mother wants this put out there. Her mom wants this relayed. So she says, it's funny that I lost my best friend. And this is the first post that I am actually putting out here. Sitting here empty, not quite feeling reality yet, having, haven't eat, ate or touched my phone in days, but hearing the imbeciles running my daughter's love of her life out of town, ruining a young boy's life more than it already is. Francis is not a drug dealer and didn't give my daughter the acid. Paisley's sister did. So all of you fucking dumb fucks that want to run your mouth of shit you have no clue of, stop. Francis doesn't deserve this. He showed my daughter true love and made her shine brighter than she already did. For all you assholes that want to talk, my daughter was amazing, didn't drink or smoke, and was so bright with the brightest heart, or the biggest heart, I could never have asked for a better daughter, and I wish I was holding her now. Brandon Scott was not her father, was never around, and is a child molester. My child to this day hates his guts. She looked up to me and would never want to hurt a soul ever. She had big dreams and they weren't supposed to end. She was a lifesaver for me and I have lost her. Not anyone out there talking. My daughter messed up once and didn't live to learn her lesson. If she got another stance, she probably chance she would have never touched anything like that again please share this everywhere and help a 17 year old boy who loved my daughter and were the best together the sweetest boy i have met he didn't do anything but give love and be true to trinity and so she put that up a couple of days ago and i read what ashley had put in a post um but i didn't get to read what her mom had put and so yeah, she's rather upset with um, the biological father who has been on different podcasts or different YouTube channels, basically, and 
has been making claims and basically trying to get money and, and do GoFundMe, uh, not GoFundMe, um, cash app type income, right? And um, it rubbed me the wrong way when I saw it and I heard some of it. And I was like, you got to be kidding me right now. So I personally uh, stand completely with her. I stand completely with her. Uh, the man even said that he didn't have a relationship with her and was learning information about her through his his family that when she Trinity would get with her aunt or, you know, other people in the family then they would relay that back and tell the dad, you know, about her and stuff like that. And so, um, yeah, he, he didn't have a relationship with her and she was old enough to make that choice. And there was obviously a reason now, you know, I don't know what goes on inside families, but, um, I don't think he should be collecting funds off of her passing, uh, me personally, but, um, you know, it's, it's not my business either way. I just wanted to relay the message that that is what her mom would like put out there. So, um, yeah, but I, I'm so sad for the family. I'm sad for Trinity. I'm sad for Ashley and her mom, right? It's a very sad story. It's really, really sad. I think that everyone needs to wait till the autopsy and toxicology comes out and stop speculating and comparing it to uh, Kylie's case and talking about the police department, putting in any speculation. I think everyone just needs to leave it alone right now. But again, that's only my opinion. But I hope that you all have a good one. I will let you go. I will talk to you in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.